Past improvements in technology and good ideas with simple solutions have made all of our lives easier. For example, wheels on luggage and automatic opening doors make travel somewhat less painful when you are running late and rushing to catch a flight. When it comes to tank gauges, Gauging Systems Incorporated had a better idea and developed the Multifunction Tank Gauge, or MTG, with this keep it simple and make it better attitude. It was designed to provide value for our customers in a way that no other tank gauge could. If you had a wish list for a tank gauge, maybe it would be something like this. I'd like my gauge to not only give me level, but many other things including average temperature, free and entrained water, a density profile, volume, and mass. And I need all this data to be high accuracy that is suitable for inventory or custody transfer applications. I'd like to be able to install my gauge in my tank as one instrument through one small opening. And I'd like to be able to do this while the tank is still in service. I need it to work with both cone roof and floating roof tanks. I'd rather not have any moving parts in my gauge because reliability is very important. And of course, I need my gauge to be self-calibrating so maintenance is very easy. All of the items in the wish list are available as an existing tank gauge which we call MTG. It utilizes sound, easy to understand principles and precision technology. It's been in production now since the late 1990s, so there's a good install base of commercial and U.S. government applications. The GSI Multifunction Tank Gauge is a unique, one-of-a-kind gauge which provides everything on your wish list and more. The components for the system include from 3 to 12 sensor modules connected by standard stainless steel pipe, a top-mounted CPU or transmitter head with watertight enclosure, a ground-mounted interface unit for multiple tanks, and optional WinTG Pro inventory software. All of these together provide a fully functional and complete system for the MTG. The sensor modules include both a high-accuracy pressure sensor and a four-wire RTD. A sensor module is always at the bottom of the tank and there is always one in the vapor space of the tank above the max fill line. A variable number of middle sensor modules can be provided. We can vary the distance between these sensor modules and this is typically between 5 and 8 feet. The exact number of modules depends on the tank height, desired accuracy, and application. The interface unit serves multiple purposes including powering the MTGs, providing display of data, and providing an output to a host system. The CPU is continually calculating values based on pressure and temperature inputs from each sensor module and stored configuration data in the CPU. Density is simply calculated by the differential of pressure values over a span distance. A probe with six sensor modules will give four density strata values. Remember, we can have up to 12 sensor modules and 10 density strata values. Multiple level values are calculated based on these densities, but only the uppermost strata is used to calculate product level. Product level is simply calculated by subtracting the vapor pressure from the submerged pressure and dividing by the product density. Mass is calculated in a similar fashion using the pressure value from the liquid head over the surface area from the tank diameter. Volume can be provided in a couple of ways. It can be calculated by dividing mass by density, or it can use the level value and strapping table to get the volume. Both ways provide the same answer. One of the very most important features of the MTG is the self-calibration feature. We utilize the most accurate sensors as the vapor sensor, shown as P6. These are usually very low range units because they are only in the vapor. The CPU is always comparing P6 to all other sensors. In the example, as the level drops below P5, the CPU realizes that the values are very close together as P6 and P5 are compared. The CPU eventually automatically re-zeroes P5. As the level in the tank continues to drop, P4 is re-zeroed. Then P3 is re-zeroed. The others are re-zeroed in similar fashion. 
This illustration is comparing the multifunction tank gauge with that of radar. As you can see by the drawing, the MTG only requires one entry point to the tank and consists of only one instrument. On the other hand, radar requires multiple entry points with four shown and five instruments. These are for the radar gauge, temperature probe with capacitance water bottom, and two pressure transmitters. GSI manufactures a split flange assembly that can be used in either stilling well or free space tanks. The purpose of this device is to utilize one tank entry at a common reference point for increased accuracy and for ease of installation. With the MTG and the split flange shown in the illustration, hand gauge verification, density samples, and temperature readings can be taken right next to the MTG at the same reference point for consistency. With radar, there is no way to easily do this at the same reference point. A picture speaks a thousand words. Which picture looks simpler and like a better idea?